Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having another great day today. Well, I know it's been a while. We've been uh, quite busy lately uh, working on this landscaping and just give you a look at you know, what we've done so far here. So we just put all of this in and, and of course everything over here. It's like 80, almost 90 things that we planted over here. So yeah, quite a bit. So I've been quite busy lately and uh, right now i got a bunch of these green giant arborvitaes to uh to plant so you got like 36 of them and uh, right here i got the most versatile vehicle on the planet the rivian r1t some people may say the rivian is not a work vehicle um yeah i agree with that it's not a work truck uh, like a maybe a ford f-150 or a 350 or something like that but i say it's the most versatile vehicle on the planet because especially if you're a homeowner uh, this thing is so versatile. So for me, this thing fits all my needs and I'll just show you what I mean here. Of course, they got the storage up front. You know, so we've been doing a lot of planning, you know, so I can actually get, I, I was able to get some of the, the, uh, the shrubs inside of here. And also I was able to get some inside of here also. along with some of my tools. So yeah, like I said, this is the most versatile vehicle. And not only can you use it as a homeowner to accomplish a lot of things, you see all these boxes, it's, all of these trees came out of it right here. And we're gonna actually use this for, uh, you know, to, as a weed barrier. And it's going out there, I don't know, you can probably see my, my Ryobi tiller way out there, but that's where the trees are gonna go. It's probably about 300 feet or more away from here. And right here, just take a look, see, at the Rivian on one t and I probably have like 10 trees in the back. I'll just go ahead, open this up. Maybe more, I'm not sure. I didn't count them when I put it in here. But as you can see, there's a shovel, a couple shovels in here. And a lot of trees. So yes, you absolutely can use this vehicle for work stuff as a homeowner. And I say it's even better because this vehicle really fits all my needs is because I, I, I was looking at a, uh, a Hellcat at one point, you know, I, wanted, I always wanted a, uh, a muscle car, you know, like, you, you know, something that just goes really fast and ridiculous, something I didn't really need. And also needed a truck because we do a lot of home improvement projects here, obviously. And I also wanted something that was easy to commute in you know something that's not difficult to park because I, I, I drove a chevy volt uh, which is a really small car for like 12 years so uh, uh going from a car to a, a truck it was kind of a, a, a transition but uh, this rivian right here you know it's just like driving a car yeah so this is uh for me you know i can't park too well you know I, i'm not a but this one i can definitely this is good manure i work in the city so um uh, and while our park is very tight and this is relatively easy to park especially with all the cameras on the on the vehicle so excellent vehicle for parking and also if i want to you know get in the mood to to race on off the line i can do that too so i have probably more it's quicker than the hellcat you know from zero to 60. i have all that power and torque with the 835 horsepower and 900 pound feet of torque so i mean so i have that and if i want to take it off road and go camping with my family, I can do that. So this is multiple vehicles in one. So it's like a Jeep on steroids. This is almost like if a Jeep, a Bronco and a Range Rover and a McLaren had a baby. Yeah, so this is what it is. It, this, for the, me, this is it. Uh, there's no other vehicle to have any desire for after driving this. We also own a Rivian R1S too. And to me still, this is by far the most versatile vehicle. My wife primarily drive the Rivian R1S, but this right here is my baby. And you know, whenever we take road trips, we always take the R1T because of all the storage and I mean, it's, it's uh, just so much less stressful taking this on a road trip. So yeah, so uh, most versatile vehicle on the planet. So, and a lot of other cool things. And I'm gonna show you when I get down here, you know, why I believe this is the most versatile vehicle on the planet. And you know, if you're in the market for an electric vehicle or any vehicle for that matter, seriously consider one of these. I think uh, Rivian actually has their um, 
sell, they have certified pre-owned vehicles they're selling now. And if you can get one of these, I'm telling you right now, look, I'm telling you right now, uh, you can, that'd be an awesome deal because this vehicle right here is better than it was the day I bought it. And that was back in February, 2003. So I had it for over a year and a half now. And I'm just letting you know right now, uh, this has been an awesome vehicle. Uh, yeah, I had some hiccups along the way. I had to take it to service a few times. It was an update where you get the blind spot monitoring cameras inside the vehicle. And that wiped my cameras on my vehicle completely. I had to take it to the shop. And they did fix it, but then shortly thereafter, they were out again, you know. And then it got to the point where every day I would have to restart my vehicle. I have to reset it and, and just to get it to work because it, it'll have a frozen picture. And it was kind of scary sometimes because, you know, I'm, I'm changing lanes and all of a sudden I look in the, the camera and I see a vehicle that didn't exist. I, I just have faith that they were going to eventually fix this with an over-the-air update. All of a sudden, the cameras are working perfectly. Matter of fact, they're working better than they were uh, when they the first the install first went in and also like i said we had the, the r1s that went out without a hitch you know so never no issues with that as far as any of the updates are concerned but the last update <laughs> totally fixed everything so very happy and it's been a few weeks now and haven't had any issues so that's awesome so uh yeah but i'm going to get down here and start moving these trees and i'm going to show you why else i say this is the most versatile vehicle on the planet and I'll see you all back a little later. Okay, now I'm back and uh, I'm in the spot where we're gonna put the trees at. And you kind of see the distance from the house, a good, little, good, little, little, good, good little ways away. And right here, I have my Ryobi tiller. And this is a fully electric tiller right here. And it takes these four 40 volt batteries. And as I said, it's another great thing about this Rivian on one t is and I'm telling the good little ways that you see from here, you know, all the way down to there, that's, that's uh, over 200 feet. It's probably about, I don't know, maybe 215 feet somewhere in there. It's a good little ways. And I went down, came back, and these batteries are halfway full, but uh, they can take a while to, to recharge. Uh, I'm not sure what the, the, the chemistry is in these batteries, you know, whether these are uh, uh, LFP or not, but they're kind of susceptible, susceptible to the heat, so I'm guessing these may be LFPs. But uh, let me get off of that. But one of the good things about this Rivian here is this is one of my favorite parts. Why well, I say it's the most versatile vehicle on the planet, but not just for this, because I get as we get tired as we're cutting these trees, you know, you have a nice uh, place to rest here. And not only that, I have right here an outlet where i can plug my charger in and i'll just go inside and turn this thing on and so i just hit this and then go over here and i got outlets right here and we turn them right on and i'm just going to start time i just turn it off for eight hours And so they're on now, and these uh, things are not too hot, so I'm going to go ahead and plug these in. And they can charge up. And I have two sets of batteries here. And so I have this other set of batteries inside of here also. So I just push these in, and I'll just turn this pin this way. And I can keep, I got a full charge again, so now I can keep uh, tilling. Just push this button and and also just to show you something else, uh, I'm also able to get my tools in here too. So I got two shovels and probably around 10 trees or more. So, and of course, we're going to be using these to, to dig all these trees. But yeah, so, worst versatile vehicle on the planet. And this is just the first uh, row. Hopefully, the weather holds up. Yeah, it's been raining for about a week or so, and which is kind of good for this. Yeah, I think someone's obviously somebody's shooting in the background. Uh, this is kind of a rural area, and uh, yeah, maybe they're doing some type of target practice. But anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, but anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, proceed with this project and get this tilled out and just, just, just trying to make sure that this land is as fertile and that we get these trees as, as good a chance as possible because it's quite a bit of them and we want to create a nice screen here so we can have more privacy on our lot. And this is just, just the first row and then we're going to put another row across the front here, you know, so we can really block this road off too and just have a, our own little private oasis where we can do whatever the heck we want to do uh, without anybody bothering us, including maybe uh, putting up a shooting range. We'll see. <laughs> but I'll see you all back later. Okay, this is day two and we're still putting these trees in and there we are down there. And we had quite a few of them in and we still have a few more to put in, maybe about five more. So we're getting close to, to the end, at least, at least this part. And then there's mulching and watering and all this other good stuff that we have to do. And here's the Rivian right here. Okay, and like I said, it's not a work truck, but we definitely use it for work. Yeah. And you see, you got my peat moss and all that stuff back here. And, and you can see all this pine bulk marks from it's transferring all these these shrubs and plants and i have a bed liner right here so it's catching all of this stuff matter of fact it's two in here i didn't take this other one out yet so it's double protected so it's another one under here too so yeah but yeah but uh especially as a homeowner you know this is definitely probably the ideal truck you know it being electric which means you can avoid going to the gas station and also being a nice luxury truck, you know, so you don't have to worry about getting an electric vehicle and also being super fast. So you won't have to worry about going out and purchasing yourself a supercar and it's an off-road vehicle. So you don't have to worry about purchasing a Jeep. So uh, yeah, everything in one right here. And it's small enough to, to commute in back and forth every day. Awesome vehicle. And I like this gooseneck hinge also how this extends out you see this extra piece right here so you get like an extra man that's probably extra eight eight inches if not more that you get with this extended out but just to give you a look at the trees here that we put in so far and here's the family out here working the land and here's mr Dora the Explorer. But yeah, so here's all the green giant arborvitae uh, that we're putting in here. And actually that pole down here, this is where our property line starts. And so I, you know, kind of, you know, put them in, these things will get pretty wide. And at the base, they probably come from, you know, get about here to here, uh, about 10 feet at the base. So it might come all the way out here where I'm standing here. Uh, and then that's our other property line pole right there. <coughs> and this is all clay and it's wet, so it's a little hard to, to deal with right here. But the good thing is there's a lot of worms in here. But yeah, uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and finish this up. And hopefully in a few years we have a nice wall of trees that gives us privacy from this main road over here as you can see you know beyond the fence lines where the main road is not really a main road it is a private street so you don't get a lot of traffic here this is a dead end street so but still when people turn down the street you get a clear view of our house over there and yeah we don't like that so we want some privacy and i'll see you all back later All right, that's it. And we got all the trees in and this is all 36 of them. Got all 36 trees in and it's greatly assisted by the Rivian right here, especially this right here in the seat. You know, you can sit down here and chill out if necessary. And also I was able to plug in my battery charger right here into this outlet, you know, so that was very helpful. And obviously 
having a truck bed here is tremendously helpful here. And I got all my everything packed up. So the next thing is to set up the watering system because this is obviously far away. There's no water source around here. You know, that's probably about three or 400 feet uh, from the house. So obviously that's not gonna work. So, but I already have a solution for it and we're gonna be using the Rivian for that solution. But that's gonna be on another video. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe if you like this content. But that's all I have for today. I'd like to thank you for joining me once again. And I can't wait to see you on the next video.